Hello folks and welcome. So what do we do with computers nowadays? Well, mainly entertain ourselves. We can certainly uh, install applications that do our spreadsheets, word processing and whatever else. Linux Mint has um, an office suite that's absolutely free unlike Microsoft. We can also think about uh, editing photos and use uh, something like GIMP instead of Photoshop, which is again free. But generally, we use a web browser nowadays to do most of our stuff. Uh, social media and entertainment. Down on my panel, I have two Netflix icons and two Disney Plus icons. An NFL, a home router icon. There was one tool that was used to make all these. That tool comes automatically installed with Linux Mint. All three desktops. Or should I say four, if you're including LMDE6. Filming in 1080, welcome. Subscription logo is in the corner, well over 500 videos on all kinds of things. I always explain everything that I do. Linux is for all skill levels and all ages. Also, my YouTube site, as I pointed out, contains over 500 videos, 560 to be exact, but you can use this tool here to do powerful searches. Web apps is what I'm going to talk about today and I've done videos on these before. Web apps has been included on the several Linux distributions uh, for Mint for a while. But sometimes we are not aware of all the applications that are involved when we install something new, and especially if you're coming from Microsoft World. And if you are, welcome. Uh, the tool that was used to create all these icons was the same. These are just generally shortcuts to web-based icons with the exception of the router. That tool is called Web Apps. It's installed on, not only on the Cinnamon desktop, but XFCE and also Mate. There's also LMDE6, but that's a Cinnamon desktop also. These are all the icons I created. Generally, when you open this tool up, it's blank. It doesn't have anything. Cron tabs I've shown before for advanced users. Um, but today I'm going to talk about maybe some of the entertainment stuff like Disney Plus. Maybe Netflix. Maybe your home router. Maybe FIFA. Or the NFL. Whatever you're into. They're just web-based icons. You can see one of them is, actually two of them are using different web browsers besides Firefox. So that's another thing. Those additional videos that I have also show the differences. So let me click on some of these icons for you. That just goes to my home router asking me to log in. We turn on the guest network. We update our router. We reboot our router. Hopefully you're doing that updating your router and rebooting it maybe once a month. It's a good idea. Are you into the NFL? Maybe you're not. Maybe you're into FIFA. I have that icon, but it's not on the panel. As a matter of fact, it's sitting right here. I'll click it anyways. <clears throat> Moving along, I have two Disney Plus icons. One is called Disney Plus. The other one's called D Plus. It's just the name I gave it. However, one of them has a navigation bar. This one. I certainly didn't sign in, but if you did log in, it will retain your login information, or you can sign up. So navigation bar is how I'm displaying this one. This one does not have a navigation bar. Just goes right in there. And... Um, It should come up this way. Okay, so it was retaining the other information. But in either case, I'm just trying to show you the difference. It's not a big deal because you can always click something different, but this is only temporary. Now when I click this back, it just goes to Disney Plus. And again, this one is without the navigation bar. I can still right click and do some things with it. 
So I have well over 500 videos, 560 to be exact, and you can do keyword searches. If you're looking for more additional information on this tool, just type in web app, 21.122, and etc. All right, so Netflix one, Netflix two, what are the differences on these? One navigation bar, This one does not have a navigation bar. All right, so how do we do this kind of stuff? Let me grab a hold of Disney Plus. The first thing to remember is this tool is automatically installed. And when you open this thing up, the web apps tool is blank. It has nothing, absolutely nothing. You have keyboard shortcuts and you have a bat. When you go to the website part, that goes over to GitHub. If you're wondering what Clem looks like, that's what Clem looks like. I call him Mr. Mitt, Mr. Linux Mitt. He's done some great work over the years, but in either case, what you'll find here is the readme file. It's very basic doesn't explain all the details and that's why I do videos like this. You can even use a router icon. That is not internet. I'll let you see the pencil, which is the edit. So generally you'll have HTTP colon two forward slashes and then your IP address, whatever yours is. You can assign it the standard icons or you can assign it custom icons. I have other videos on the custom icons because generally if you use custom icons, you also want it to reappear during a reboot. So you need to adhere to a couple of rules, which I'm not going to talk about today. But uh, cron tab and cron tab stuff is made for advanced users. And I have videos on that also. Um, but I'll open this icon, double click. All right, so this is uh, earthnunschool.net. It's a very powerful website. It has lots of data, and this is actually live as of this very moment. I was born here in the country of Iceland. The founder of Linux, on the other hand, was born in Helsinki, or around Helsinki, Finland. Both of us live over here in uh, what we call the state of Oregon, USA. Matter of fact, he lives five miles from me. But this is just another website. I have uh, subscribers from here, 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 and here. That's why I talk a little bit slower than other YouTubers. English is also my second language. In either case, um, we are making icons. So I will recreate the Disney Plus icons for you. So you can see how this is done. Open up any standard web browser. Go find your website. It doesn't have to be Disney Plus. It could be a bank, a credit card, Linux Mint, Amazon, whatever you're into. Official website is what I always recommend if you're going to do web-based icons, not just any website. There's a lot of malicious actors out there. In either case, DisneyPlus.com, right-click, copy, minimize. Why am I doing that? Just in case I didn't copy that right. Now, this icon is generally not here, so I'll throw it out for a second and throw it back in just to give you another tip on how to drag icons to your favorites. In either case, let's do the plus thing. Right click in the address field and paste your address, whatever it might be. Do we understand the difference between an HTTP and a PS? Okay, the S part stands for security. 
generally your home routers will be HTTP. I'll show you that in a second. This is the standard icons for web apps, the name of the application. You can go find icons online. If you can't, then you can select your own. If you like the classic D with white backgrounds, choose that. This is the current Disney Plus icon. Then you can put in a name of whatever you want. If you want to put a D, that's all that's necessary. Let's give it something better than D. Disney Plus. Do you want a navigation bar? Most people do. Do you want to use Firefox? You can. If you have other browsers, then you can use Chrome or Chromium or even Brave. Just be aware if you use some of these, you do not get the same thing. This has isolated profile. The same thing with Brave and Chromium. The other thing to be aware of is um, sometimes these web browsers that you select that are non-Firefox will only go half screen when you first start. And you can put in custom parameters to go full screen. I have those videos. In either case, I'm going to do a navigation bar. Do you want to test it? it? Might not be a bad idea in case you didn't copy things right. You can use the launch key or you can just double click. You'll get the privacy notice so you can read it, close it, go full screen if you like, use the old fashioned way or do it my way, whichever. But more importantly, if you haven't signed up, you can. And Firefox will maintain your login info until you edit things. Once you edit things, you may have to re log in. Okay, the icon is available in web or you can just type in Disney in my, because I called it Disney Plus. I can right click, add it to panel, desktop or favorite. I can open it this way. It'll tell me to show me because I clicked on it once before. Then I can also go find it in here and drag it downstairs. There are many ways to do things in Mint. Navigation bar. I can also temporarily log into maybe Amazon. But when I re-click the icon, it goes to Disney because you created that icon for Disney. Double click to go full screen if you like. My navigation bar is auto hide. I'll turn that off. That would be panel settings if you have never discovered this one. I have other videos on my YouTube site. Generally that's default. Your panel doesn't disappear when you open these. But you can go full screen that way. That's what I'm getting at if you're watching a movie. You can do wonderful things with web-based icons. Now, to create something on your, um, sorry, wrong icon. Where is it? Home router. Your home router is a web address. And generally it doesn't have it. Uh, HTTPS. It has HTTP because your routers generally don't contain security certificates on your home routers. However, if you decide to be uh, resourceful and add the S in there, watch what happens when you click on these. You get a security risk. And why is that? Because I added the S in there and my router doesn't have a security certificate. It's not a regular web service. It's your home router. So don't help it. Generally, your home routers do not have an S in it. And they want to challenge you with a password. Now it works just fine. Asking me for a password. And generally, a lot of the routers will ask you for two things. Yeah, your username and password. And as you can see, mine is just asking for a password. This is a demo router. But your home routers generally are probably in the same range. 192.168.0.1 or 1.1. And if your router is a different address, then plug that in. You know, you can always just log into your router 
on your web browser and then copy the address because you can create any web-based icon this way as many as you want and where they're all going to be stored is where you generally place them in this area or your choosing remember this is asking you where do you want to store it in what category web is generally default that's why these icons appear over here but you can always search for them by name if I'm looking for Linux Mint there's the LM icon I'll throw it on the panel Linux Mint has not only the cinnamon desktop um, I'll go to all versions but they do have Mate and XFCE and down at the bottom is the number six which stands for what LMDE6 which can be found in your download area right here it's the Linux Mint Debian edition if you haven't discovered that that is also a cinnamon desktop thank you for watching